Colorado, America's headquarters for all things big game. Hunters traveling to Colorado are faced with mixed terrain, ranging from high plateaus to desert plains. This trip is a first for Stephanie as she sets out to harvest her first ever mule deer. Harvesting a mature, healthy deer won't be easy because Colorado has seen a recent drought that has stunted antler growth for the mule deer population. Chances are Stephanie and the crew could end up heading back to Texas empty-handed. ready to go mule deer hunting. It's freezing outside. It's like 19 degrees and uh, I'm excited. As the team departs and begins their journey to the hunting grounds, Dan and Stephanie are immediately reminded why they call this a mule deer honey hole. Oh, it's a pretty buck. Yeah, he is. I haven't Look. seen him before. That's a good sign. Unfortunately, this piece of property belongs to another landowner, so the team could not pursue this buck. That's a good sign, John. Hadn't seen this one before. Um, we need to get up here to where we can hunt. And go ahead, John. And start looking around. Tri-State Outfitters has a lot of hunting ground to cover, so utilizing a vehicle to glass different locations is a must on this type of hunt. Where are we going today, John? Going, we're going to go through Rick's alfalfa here and around the corner on the oat field and then we'll go back behind there see if we can find some deer bedded up in the pines. Okay, well, I'm encouraged because we've already seen a really big buck, so hopefully we'll find something soon. You forgot to mention that we locked the keys in the car. <laughs> <laughs> when the crew arrived at the new location, they were instantly met with action. Young deer. There's a buck down there coming up the right in the middle. I wish he was a little heavier. The a cool deer. They're pretty short. He's small? Are you kidding me? This is Stephanie's first time getting to really hunt prime mule deer country. So while she's excited to see these bucks, her guide John, who has been hunting this area from a young age, knows that there are better bucks in the area for her to hang her first mule deer tag on. Yeah, he's heavy, kind of. On top, he is anyway. On his right side. Thanks, thanks, no, thanks, Tom. He ain't big enough. Are you crazy? Look how wide he is. <laughs> you guys friend. are really making me mad. Wait for him to turn. Oh yeah, he's got really crappy fronts. As the day went on, the pattern continued, with bucks that were not mature enough or underdeveloped due to the season's harsh drought. If he were wider, would we shoot him? No. Mm -hmm. Stephanie's tag is good for a mule deer or whitetail, so the team decides it might not be the year for Stephanie to harvest her first muley and switched up the game plan. Well, we've decided that the mule deer is just being too ornery and not cooperating with our plan, so we've changed up because they found a couple, um, a couple whitetail deer that looked pretty good, so we're going to go set up and try and get them. The deer are staying up on this piney ridge right here. This is on the neighbors right here, this corner, but we'll wait for them to come across and hit the fence and go down along the creek, and then we can sneak up on them and kill them. Okay, once they come this side, will they, will they go into the creek or they just stay in that flat part right there? They'll probably stay on the flat, but we can use the creek to sneak up on them. Yeah, shooting sticks? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Me too. The plan is simple. Glass the hillside until the whitetail John has seen comes out of the wood line and heads for the creek. As the afternoon progresses and the sun nears the horizon, the whitetails start to emerge. There's a, a buck out there. He's right behind that tree. I can't really, really good look at him, so I can't tell him exactly how big he is. John says he's not that big, but he's a nice deer. So we still have a little way to go because we have to see if he's going to come down off the mountainside so we can get a good look at him. There's a lot of bucks up there. 
four different ones as far as I can tell. Stephanie can't catch a break. All these bucks are too young. However, the hunt isn't over yet. Unfortunately, John's plan is not playing out correctly. The whitetail have to make their way down the hill away from the neighbor's property. Yep. I don't think they're going to come down. Mm -hmm. I saw another one of them bucks heading right up the ridge line right there. It doesn't look like they're going to come down tonight. But uh, we can set up in the morning up on a high ridge and see where they go in and bed. Have a good spot to work up for the afternoon. A new day, and although it may be the last day of the trip, spirits remain high. The drought's kind of got the horns down a little bit from mule deer. We decided yesterday afternoon to go after the white tail. Uh, we saw a pretty good one yesterday afternoon. We couldn't get it to even get anywhere near us. It was on the neighbor's property. We didn't, obviously, we couldn't go hunting over there. John wants to go back there this morning and see if those deer are down in the bottom of that creek where we waited on them yesterday. Today is showing lots of life, a good sign although evidence of the drought is still visible. As the team makes their way to the location John wants to check, they spot movement down by the creek. There's some deer. It ends up being a mature, healthy mule deer, just what they've been searching for this whole trip. He's right behind the door there. Gotta wait till he turns, huh? Yeah, I just don't take that shot. wait for him to get broadside. Let him get broadside. He's gonna here in a second. Take him. Good job. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> He dropped right there. Nice deer. Let's go, look at it. It's just perfect. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful deer. I know, I love it. You find a good My first deer. mule deer, yes. Yeah, that is exceptional for you. I know, deer. I love it. It's perfect. Yeah, something extra right here. Yeah, it broke off. How old do you think he is? Uh, he's four or five. That's what I was going to say. He knew right where he was. No, no, Figured it out fine. really good, yeah. Thanks, yeah. I sure was surprised when he came up like that. I was too when we walked up there. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. He must have been bedded down right on mm -hmm. that bluff because I, I just looked over John's shoulder and it was like, oh, there he is, wow. I think he's perfect. I'm glad we shot him. It's my first meal there. I'm so excited. <laughs> I could have done without locking the keys in the car, almost running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. Good job, hon. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> 